early morning in the bustling New York Grand Central Station came the angry cry of a Chinese American woman. A man looked horrified and fled in a hurry. What went wrong? It turns out that this woman is from the Chinese dissident group that protested the notorious Paul Hastings law firm at the MetLife building the other day. Smile for your close-up sir, you are no other than Neil Torpy, partner and chair of the notorious Paul Hastings office in Hong Kong. Look at your lovely face on the poster that says CCP running dog. Neil looked embarrassed but acted so innocently when he saw his picture. He said that he does not represent the Chinese Communist Party. So? I, I, don't, I don't represent them. Really? Let's take a look at your clients, Neil. You've helped numerous CCP-owned firms such as Bohai Bank of China, ICBC with billion-dollar deals, it's all crystal clear on your company's website. Can't believe that a top attorney is so juvenile at lying. Yet the good people of New York are very supportive of the peaceful protests when they saw this brave woman and the rest of the Chinese dissident group protesting Paul Hastings. Ted Oles, vice president of Greenwich Real Estate Development Company in Connecticut, expressed his solidarity with the Chinese dissident protesters. He called on all Americans to immediately halt all business ties with the Chinese Communist Party and decouple with the CCP as soon as possible. He took out cash on the spot and offered to donate but was politely turned down by the female Chinese dissident, we are not short of money. If you are willing to help, please share the truth with more people. Steven Erickson, an attorney from New York, said that the Chinese Communist Party's unrestricted judicial overreach against the United States is not only a huge issue for the American legal profession, but a political threat to the nation. Therefore, the US government and Congress should impose sanctions against the Chinese Communist Party. XOXO coming back soon.